Drawing something when you can look at it. Livy? This is your idea of fun, you Plessy. I'm sorry for you, but especially for the woman who shared your life out here. Oh, Caroline, I love it when you get all affectionate. And I'm not, and never shall be, your sweetheart. <laughs> Give it time. You'll soon appreciate all the distractions at Leopard's Den. Uh, like the visitor you've been making eyes at the last couple of days, you mean. Caroline, that is not true. Sadly, he didn't bring a friend with him of more mature years, so I'm stuck with you, Plessy, and he's smelly old wildebeest. <laughs> hey, Bamba. 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 What's wrong? This one's been injured. Nasty wounds. Look at all that blood. Get him, get him, buddy. Oh, no, no, you just hang on there. I'm getting dull with this kind of thing, man. Oh, hey, watch it. Get along. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, you okay? Uh. Caroline! What? How could you let that happen? Uh. I never could stand beside a blood. Do you know how long it took to round those animals up? I'm trying to help. Oh, I'd hate to see your hindrance. Right, come on, you two. Look, a few dumb animals ran into the jungle, that's all. Caroline, these injections are important. We've got a serious worm infestation well, you're here. You're only doing this so that his sperm can pay you a big fat fee to test that new drug. And very effective it is, too. You don't care, do you, about leopards then, any of it? Let me think about that, will you? Uh, no! I don't care about the heat and the flies and the dirt and the mind-numbingly dull routine and even drearier company. But what I really, really don't care for are your precious animals. Right, that's enough. What the hell am I doing in this godforsaken place? I don't know, Caroline. You tell me. Right! That's it! Mother! Isn't she great? You were too hard on her, Dad. Mother, this is silly. No choice. Your husband wants me out. No, he doesn't. He's very fond of you. <laughs> in his own way. But look, I'll speak to him. Anyway, my mind's made up. Where will you go? You're homeless. Oh, a minor detail to be worked out later. You haven't got two pennies to rub together, and who will have you? Oh, thank you very much. You can't leave Leopard's Den. I can't stay, Sarah. There's nothing for me here. I just don't belong. Oh, I wish you'd let me change into something smarter. To collect a dung sample. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't you want it? The sample, I mean. The cheetah's still in there. She won't mind you borrowing one of her toads, Trevor. It's perfectly safe. You're talking to a guy who was once bitten by a toy poodle. I think she smelt my fear. A big boy like you. Wanna hold my hand? Maybe later. <laughs> oh, look at that! Be careful, Evan! There's a man in there! Let's go call 
The glamorous life of the pharmaceutical chemist. Thanks, I'm done. We must do this again sometime. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Last time I tested this animal, the specimen was teeming with eggs. Your cheetah here had a very debilitating infestation of worms. You're like a lot of our stock. And now? Well? Oh, come on, Trevor, the weight's killing me. It's clear. The treatment worked. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I did it. Well done! <laughs> That's fantastic. I Congratulations. Did it. Danny, Danny! Come quickly! What? A plane just crashed. He's hurt. He's bleeding. You okay? I think so. No one else. Archie. What? Well, I'll examine him, see if we can get him back to the house. Just a bump on the head. Nothing too serious. Touch a concussion, maybe. Hello. Hello. I think he could probably do with some peace and quiet. Where am I? Somewhere safe. You, Doctor? No. My son-in-law checked you over. He's a vet. A vet? That's OK. I, he's almost competent. He says you haven't broken any fetlocks. <laughs> oh. You should rest. But first, you might tell me who I'm caring for. Gerald. Caroline. Caroline. I've always liked that name. Sorry I can't say the same about Gerald. Oh, by the way, who's Archie? to let her go. Oh, no, it's okay, really. Be my guest. Come on, live on the edge. Okay. Okay, my friend. Thanks for everything. Right there. Turn around slowly, or I'll fill you full of banana. <laughs> What's your game then? We were just a bit bored. I see. In that case, I have two questions for you. Question number one Are you up for an adventure? What do you think? Good. Question number two. Two, can you keep a secret? What do you want us to do? OK. In the plain, or somewhere nearby, is a very precious cargo. Danny said we weren't to go near the plane again. Oh, you do everything that Danny tells you, do you? Hmm? 
Here you go. One fat check from a grateful customer. <gasps> Thank you very much. That'll come in handy. Well, it's nice to be paid for having your stock made healthy. <laughs> Isn't it? Thank you. See ya. Bye. So that's Archie. Come on. Come on, boy. Come and see Gerald. Come on. Come on, boy. Come and get some fruit and nut. That's it. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Good boy. Come on, Archie. Let's go see Good boy. Come on. Come on, follow us. Don't you think we should tell Danny? No, Gerald's right. Danny would only be angry at him for having a chimp as a pet and make them leave. Let's just keep it to ourselves for now. Come on. Go. Poor old thing. Makes good eating. Gerald, meet Anders Duplessis, a long-time resident of Leopardsdale, as you can perhaps tell. Now, the local colour. Delighted. So what's your story? What were you doing in that old wreck of yours? Flying down from my ranch up north, Petersburg way. You had some trouble with the engine. This little red light came on and wouldn't go off, however hard I bashed the glass. <laughs> I must have run out of fuel. Never a petrol station around when you need one, is there? <laughs> so where were you headed? Um, my house at the Cape. You'd love it, Caroline. I've got two hot tubs lined up side by side on a cliff top where you can lie and watch the whales go by. Oh, how fabulous. <laughs> But uh, shouldn't you call your wife and tell her what's happened? My wife? Please, mind your language. I'll have a relapse. <laughs> I suppose I'd better call my people. What people? Well, uh, my staff. Get them to arrange things. Oh, well, there's no rush. Well, stay as long as you like. You've had quite a shock. Thank you. It's very kind. I thought you were leaving us, mother-in-law. It's a lady's prerogative to change her mind, son-in-law. What's wrong, old lad? Have you been missing me? Oh. Well, what have you done? Was that my lousy flying? Don't worry, we'll be out of here soon. What is that? This is Archie. Archie? You like to say hello? It's very polite. Gerald, I think you'd better explain. Yeah. The boss wants me back tomorrow. Now the trial's over, the drug can go into production. Suddenly I'm flavor of the month. Hey, we should go out and celebrate. How about we drop in for dinner somewhere? Trevor, the only creatures that drop in for dinner around here are vultures. <laughs> or we could go for a drink, though. Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. I've got this place, you see. The coast. Hot tubs, whales. No, my real home. I live in Swaziland. It's called Rolling River. 
on the floor of a valley, straddling the curve of a river where kingfishers nest and hippos play among the water hyacinth. Very poetic, Gerald. Get to the point. I crossed the border illegally. If I hadn't, Archie would have been quarantined. He's been ill. He wouldn't have survived. I couldn't let him die, Caro. You care that much about him? When you said Danny was a vet, I knew he'd do it by the book, call the authorities, lock him away. Probably me too. Are you going to tell him? Why shouldn't I? You haven't been straight with me. Yes, I'm sorry. I feel guilty about that. I've been thinking. About what? You're not happy here, Caro. I can see that. Maybe you should uh, come down to the Cape sometime. Let me repay your hospitality. A stranger should call me Caro. Why? Oh, someone used to call me that. Half a lifetime ago, that's all. Hi, Gerald. This is of yours. Uh, Rustenburg, was it? No, I said Petersburg. Now, where exactly? I've got chummies up there. Just to the east, a place called Zanin. Uh, if you excuse me, I think I'll take a nap. Thanks, Caro. Thanks, Caro. <laughs> We'd be later on any thicker, he would have needed a mechanical digger. You don't like him. I don't trust him. No, not your kind of man, I know. Civilised, sophisticated and rich. Ha, if he was so loaded, why is he flying that old beaten-up wreck? You tell me that. I've seen his type before. Easy charmer, syrupy voice, clean fingernails. You're not mm. jealous of him. Ah, please, man. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you just wait and see. We'll see who's <laughs> laughing then. <laughs> For Danny, to for Danny coming. Are you there? Come in. Oh, hello. I'm about to make the most terrible mistake. Probably end in tears. What? Confide in a man. You're right, of course. Coming here hasn't worked out. It's just not me. At the same time, I can't go back to England. There's really nothing for me there either. You're kind of homeless, then. I need to get away. Somewhere nice, somewhere I can get my head together and work out what to do with my ridiculous life. Your offer of hospitality at the Cape it sounds like a hot tub overlooking the ocean might be the perfect place to think. Especially if there's someone alongside to pour champagne. In which case, I wonder, my little secret... ...becomes our little secret. What do you think? She's got a temperature like I've never seen. Vomiting, oh. diarrhoea. Well, this could invalidate the trial. It could invalidate her life too, Trevor. Sorry, I just meant... Look, is there any chance that your drug could have caused this? Absolutely not. But she must have picked up some kind of virus in the bush. Well, the first thing to do is get the temperature down and hope the fever burns itself out. <laughs> you are a fool to take off in an aeroplane without enough fuel. I usually get my manager to fly me down. I shouldn't be allowed any machinery. Hopeless driver, too. Oh, don't worry, I'll take care of that for us. Once parked a car in Joburg, came back, found this note on the windscreen. Parking fine, it said. Thought that was rather nice. <laughs> 
Do you have to be so relentlessly jolly? Ah, oh, never happy, are you? Yesterday you had a go at me for being miserable. Now I... We've got a dying cheetah, Caroline, and I don't know what's killing her. What do you expect me to do about it? Forget it. Before you go, I have an announcement to make. Tomorrow, I'll be leaving you all. Gerald has kindly invited me to be his guest in his house on the coast. I don't know when, or indeed if, I'll be back. Well, that's... Just stupid. Best of luck, Gerald. Mum, mm. are you sure about all this? I mean, it all seems so sudden. I'm sure Gerald's a nice guy and everything, but this is an interesting reversal of roles. We just don't want you to get hurt, that's all. Perhaps I already was. And lonely. Maybe that's why I like Gerald so much. Despite his money, he seems the same. Looks like you two are having a really fun time. How'd you do it, Rosie? Trevor, this is Max. You should get on great. Trevor here is a world expert on worms. Max is one. Hey, the sun just came out. We pulled you from that plane, took you in and cared for you, yet you go behind our backs to smuggle that chimp into our compound and you use our children to do it. Come on, Danny, it's not such a big deal, is it? I thought you'd be delighted to have a little chimp like Archie on your reserve. Archie? Did you know about him too? Yes, well, what's the problem? Chimps aren't indigenous to South Africa. We don't know anything about the animal, where he's been, what he might be carrying. Danny, you'd better come. You wait here. I came in to take a blood sample, and this is how I found her. She's been dead for hours. What caused this? Got a good idea. What are the classic carriers of viruses? Primates. We have an outbreak of a lethal and unidentified virus. Couldn't be Ebola, could it? Danny? Impossible. But we have to stop whatever it is from spreading, so I'm implementing various precautions whilst Trevor sends away samples for testing. The animals in the holding pen will go into immediate quarantine. The only people allowed into contact with them will be Duplessis, Trevor, Rosie and me. Viruses like this usually spread by blood-to-blood -blood contamination, which means that it's not just the animals that are going into quarantine, so are we. Nobody leaves here for the duration. But Archie and I are going to the coast today. And Caroline, of course. I said no one. Did Archie have any cuts or grazes when you brought him back here? He had one on his elbow. He's a pet. 
We'd be nowhere he could have got this virus. We're from Petersburg, for God's sake. I'm not going to argue with you, Gerald. Right, we've got things to do. Danny. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, that's all good. Nothing. You sure? No cuts, grazes, scratches? I checked three times. Okay, right. You two, come here. Now, I'm not angry with you, but I want you to tell me the absolute truth. Right? It's very, very important. Now, when you went to the plane and you brought Archie back here, did you touch him? Olivia? Did you touch him? Tell me. I touched his hand! Oh, Sarah, examine her again. The slightest cut or scratch. Gerald, this is getting out of hand. It may not suit me here, but I'm worried about my family, especially the grandchildren. Now, if there's anything else you haven't told me, now is the time. Do you understand? So? Only a small detail, tiny thing, really. I came from the Congo, not Swaziland. Civil war started ten years ago, never really stopped. Go on. A few days ago, a local warlord turns up with his gang, armed with guns and machetes. Gave me a choice. Either I could give him the place and he'd let me leave, refuse, and he killed me. I opted to leave. He said I could take one thing with me. I chose Archie. You're not going to turn me in, are you? There's no way Archie's carrying any virus. Danny! How are they? Very, very lucky. Oh, thank goodness. The virus. Tell me. Well, sometimes weird viruses just appear. They're unpredictable. They sometimes jump species and affect people too. Is that why you examine the children? Well, that's what happened with Ebola. What's this Ebola you keep talking about? It's the most virulent of the lot. It eats tissue. It kills. Once you've got it, that's it. But it can't be that. That's only found way north of here. Where? Northern Uganda, the Congo, Sudan. Danny! Time to make an undignified retreat. Oh, this is the last straw. If you just told us the truth, we'd have had a chance of containing this. But I didn't hear the whole story until just now. Do you see the mess that we're in now? Thanks to you. That's not fair. Daddy, Gerald has just driven off with the chimp in your 4x4. Four four. Naughty, you forgot to pay your barbell, old boy. Oh. First thing in the morning, I'm contacting the authorities. Duplessis, will you escort our guest to his room? Lock him in this time. My pleasure. So... The ageing playboy with money to burn has a beaten up old plane and holes in his shoes. The house on the Cape doesn't exist, does it? Only in my dreams. You're pathetic. Lie after lie after... 
But I'm even more pathetic for being taken in by you, silly old cow. I'm sorry, Caro. I'm very fond of you. Yes, but rather fonder of your wretched ape. I did warn you. Mum. I'm sorry. This wasn't supposed to happen. What are you doing? Oh, what is it? The corpse. The literature recommends immediate incineration of affected animals to prevent further infection. Wouldn't the state vets want to examine the remains? No. It's standard procedure, Rosie. It's OK. Uh, come. come. Yeah, please. Let's go. Oh, God, that smells. service. Just put the coffee and croissants on the bedside table, would you? Where is he? Who? What is it? What's happened? You're not telling me Archie's gone, are you? Well, don't look at me. My days of escaping through bedroom windows are long past. Caroline? Me? Oh, come on, Danny. I'm wasting time here. You're not going after him, are you? Well, better we find him than some predator kills and eats him. I mean, if that happens... The virus will spread. Danny will be wiped out. This way! Head at north! I'm telling you, it wasn't me. I've had him since he was born. He's never lived in the bush. He wouldn't last five minutes out there. So? So why would I let him go and condemn him to a grim and certain death? I love that creature, Caro. It's the only thing I have left. Better go with the execution party. Can't help believing him, can you? Danny. I'd like to go with you, Danny. I want to be there at the end. Okay. Okay, look, I maybe behaved like a bit of a jerk last night, and I'm sorry. But you can at least talk to me. What are you doing? You're not leaving. I'm afraid so. Well, you're not even going to wait and see what happens. Look, my whole trial program's a train wreck. My boss is going nuts. What's up? Your boyfriend running away? You might just be right for once. I'd be stupid. You were the one that let Archie go, weren't you? What? Gerald swears it wasn't him. I believe him. Who else could it have been? The cheetah got ill. I heard you saying sorry to her. You said this wasn't supposed to happen. It wasn't. The chimp made her ill and scuppered all my work. Oh, yes, the mystery virus. Look, the diagnosis was right. It would have been proved wrong once the proper tests were carried out. That's why you burnt the bodies, wasn't it? Oh, don't be absurd. The same reason you released Archie. You knew he'd be killed and eaten. Why would I do all this? To destroy the evidence. You knew Archie would test negative. You have a big problem, Trevor. The cheetah died from your drug. I'm leaving. I know you're not. Anything? I 
Do you really have to do this? I can't treat him, Sarah. I just can't take any risks. Not with Ebola. There he is. OK, come on, let's go. It's a rogue side effect. It happened once before, but I sat on it. It's a good drug, Rosie. It just, just needs a little more work. Lock him up till I get back, Matt. My pleasure. Where? Put him in where the wild talks. Scott. Let me do it, Danny. It should be me. Sorry, Gerald. My responsibility. Get him! Thanks. I think I winged him. Rosie, that's terrible. Poor oh, Archie. Poor oh, Gerald. Let's hope we can find him before it's too late. You stay where you are, kids. Ah. Uh, hi, Danny. You got him. have to come back and cover all this blood with an antivirus powder. Ah. This way. I've lost it. I can't find the trail. We'll start again at first light. Don't worry, we'll find him soon. We'd better get back and cover that blood before it gets dark. Sorry, Gerald. You're not lost, are you? That's all we need. Oh, look! It's him! Archie! Come here, Archie! Archie! Let's go and find Gerald. Look, Caroline, he's injured. I'll get him. No, Rosie. Come on. Come on now, Archie. Okay. There's a good boy. Come on now. Come on now. There we are. There. That's all right. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Oh! There we are. Oh, that's a nasty wound. Look at all that blood. Now then, my friend. I used to be like you at first. Couldn't stand the place. <laughs> then I woke up one morning and realised it had got to me. Now I can't imagine being anywhere else. I'm just looking at the sunset, Rosie. Uh, yeah, sure. Right, I think I know how to get us back. <sighs> Come on, then. Let's get you home. You! I'm sorry. How could you do that and keep quiet? That chimp could be dead. So, my mother went into the bush. She said they had to find Archie. Oh, this stupid woman! There's no way to talk about your <laughs> beloved mother-in-law, Danny. You all right? 
He's wounded. <laughs> Thank you. Gerald, can you take him to my surgery? Can you? Get the hell off our farm. Come on, this way. OK, Rosie, the first thing that I'm going to need... No. I'll do it. It's not going to be pleasant. I'd like to see this through, if you don't mind. Then you'd better scrub up. He's going to be fine. Thanks. You'd make a good nurse. Oh, no, I don't think so. Never did suit white. And as for those awful clog things... I'm sorry for the things I said, Caroline. Maybe I deserve them. I was scared, you see, of the future. But last night, out there in the bush, Suddenly, it didn't feel so bad anymore. You look appalled, Danny. Has it suddenly occurred to you that I might be staying? <laughs> See you soon, old lad. You'll be good in quarantine. You will visit him, won't you? Every day, Gerald. Grapes. Thank you. Bye, Archie. Wave to him, Caro. Bye, Archie. I can't believe I'm doing this. Now for another farewell. You sure you won't come with me? Where are you going, exactly? My brother runs a bed and breakfast in Port Elizabeth. Oh, is it nice? Dump of the first order. The towels are so thin you can spit peas through them. <laughs> Don't let that put you off. I really am very fond of you. And I of you. But you see, you're homeless. Temporarily, I hope. And I'm not. Quite. And there are people here I'd miss very badly. Anyway, it's too degrading for a woman to be permanently jealous of a male chimp. I was just breaking the news to Gerald that I'm staying. My family couldn't do without me, could you? Could you? No, Caroline, your cheerful good humour is a daily blessing to us all. <laughs> Bye, Gerald. Au revoir, Caroline. Um, he was a hopeless, dissembling old rogue. She couldn't help liking him. No. Nah. Shame he's moving on. There, there, sweetheart. Don't, don't be upset. What are you doing?
Wild at Heart on DVD, just answer this question. Which of these African animals is the fastest runner? A cheetah, B lion, or C leopard? Just text WILD plus A, B, or C to 6337. It costs £1 to enter, and you need to be over 18. Next tonight is the last in the series of Lewis.